Yeah, got something. Hi, it's a constant angler. Um, today I'm going to do a little unboxing and uh, on the bank uh, fishing review of the Doviello Solo King, made by Solo King Brownie BMC 100. So just a standard little box there. Uh, it gives a few details there. Mine is the BMC 100L because uh, it ticked in the box. There. It's 8 to 1 to 1 uh, gear ratio. Uh, 30 pins on the dial, the magnetic braking dial, so 30 settings. Uh, 5 kilograms of drag, which equates to about 11 pounds. So an extra kilo uh, to a conventional sized, uh, 50 size uh, BFS reel. Uh, 88 centimeters per turn at a handle and 11 bow bearings plus one. So a lot of bow bearings. Now I have unboxed it before now and it is very smooth reel. So let's unbox it anyway. <laughs> says comfort and smoother casts. I would agree with that wholeheartedly. Very impressed with this reel. So let's put the box out of the way. Of course, you get the old uh, schematics diagram. Uh, if you're interested, this is great for reference, especially if you start taking uh, reels apart. If you want to look at reels being taken apart, then go to the BFS Fishing Channel, which is run by my good friend, uh, Peter Kim. Right, here we go then. So it's a reel. Quite a nice looking reel, isn't it? Um, does it remind you of anything? Any reels that have come before? It did to me the minute I took it out of the box. And I'll show you the reel that it reminds me of. Here we go. The original Suranoia DF50. There's slight differences in the frame. This is curved at the front. Uh, this has some holes in it. But the size and the feel of the reel and the looks of the reel are very, very similar. Couple of differences. This one has a gear ratio of five to three to one. So very much a lower geared ratio. This one has a gear ratio of eight to one to one. So uh, that much quicker. And uh, to be honest, this feels a lot smoother than the original Dark Wolf. Uh, this reel also comes with a clicker. Now talking price, uh, don't know what these are now. I'll put this to the side now, but um, I got this for £25 delivered to the UK. It's around £30 to £25, depending on what the offer is. Make sure you get the, the correct uh, handle side for yourself. I'm a lefty, some are righties. Um, but let's continue with this. So it, it has a carbon fibre body. Well, for me, I'm going to be using this a lot for larger fish in salt water. Um, so that carbon body thing is, is a key feature for me. Uh, some of the more expensive reels uh, can corrode quite easily. When I first took it out of the box, I thought, ooh, there's a few shiny bits of steel or something there, like like here and there. But, you know, then again, if I compare it to the Dark Wolf, it's very similar. It's mainly on the spool here, to be fair. But if you're going to fish salt water, make sure to clean the rim of your spool and around the inside of the frame after every trip. I spray my reels off after each trip. Take, take a part here, just take the spool out, the end plate, and uh, wipe around in there as well. And they'll they'll carry on for years for you. This one has, I've had it a couple of years, I used it extensively in salt water and it's it's fantastic. It's not corroded at all. So a little tip for you there. Uh, as I said, the gear ratio is eight to one to one. So that's good for throwing um, sort of crankbaits upstream and keeping in touch with it as they're coming back towards you. If you've got a lower retrieve, you're gonna struggle a bit there or you'll be winding like mad and not concentrating on that your feel for that fish you want. As I said, it's got uh, 11 to one to one bearings. It's a very smooth reel. Uh, it weighs 150 grams and the spool itself weighs 8.8 .8 grams, um, which isn't the lightest of spools, but this is a larger spool. So you get a bit more capacity and you get, uh, it handles heavier lures that bit better because of this, the size of the spool once you get it moving. It's um, 11 pounds worth of drag or five kilos. So you get a little bit more. Of course, when you're winding in, you get um, get your line a bit uh, back a bit quicker. Uh, having the larger capacity, a larger spool makes uh, things better for longer casting. Uh, it's quite a, an adaptable reel. I wouldn't be throwing lures uh, below three grams routinely. It's not meant for that. Um, but you could throw hard minnows in streams, that kind of thing, down to three grams or so, three and a half, five grams would, would be ideal. But you then you could use it for your bass fishing because it has a little bit more drag. Uh, it's a little bit bigger. Uh, so so quite adaptable. Um, yeah, it's got a drag clicker. You can hear that and it's quite audible. It's nice without sounding tinny. Now, size wise, to give you a comparison, whilst we're uh, 
talking about the drag as well, the sound of the drag. I like the sound of that drag. It's quite audible. Um, this is the Haibu Arise. Can you see the difference? Hopefully it will show it. This reel is quite tiny compared to the Brownie. But then this is a 50 size reel. If you listen to the drag on this one, I'll loosen it off there. You know, that's lovely. I do like it, but it's a little bit tinny. So it's a duller sound on this one compared to the Haibu. Um, yeah, it's a good sound, as I said. Um, and it also has a drag clicker. And the intention cap has a very loud positive click and it's easy to adjust it. It's, uh, you know where you are all the time with it. Uh, that's with the brakes on full there. Uh, if I just open the, the end plate, I'll show you the brakes and then we'll do some spinning and spools. So uh, here's your, your dial, uh, sort of a copy of the Outer Baron and uh, all the sort of uh, Dark Wolf Ultra variants have this uh, this dial. I really don't like them. I find them a bit fiddly. Some are better than others, but I'd like something on the side like you have with the casking or the high -ubel. That's not a bad dial at all. See what I mean? A lot of the dial words have, have dials like that as well. I prefer that. I find it more manageable. I don't worry about the palming side of things like that. It doesn't affect me. Um, so let's take the side plate off, which you uh, you just one twist and open, which I like. It's not fiddling, trying to pull it off directly. And if we have a look at the braking system there, you can see it's a copy of um, Shimano's FTB system. Now, the original Dark Wolf, uh, if you see the brake shoe that these magnets on, uh, it was free. It would come out and go towards the uh, spool uh, as it's, it was required, which is what the original Outer Baron reel does. Now, we found out that if you have a left-handed model of these reels with these copy uh, cat uh, braking systems, uh, the physics of it doesn't actually work. Now, I don't know for certain why that is, uh, but if you want to go to uh, my good friend Paul Gaskill's uh, uh, website, Fishing Discoveries, or even his YouTube channel with the same name, the, the physics and everything will be explained to you there. Looking at these brakes, if you watch these brake shoes, hopefully it will show it. And I put my uh, tweezers to it. You can feel the magnetic force, but the shoe itself isn't moving. But, and looking at the similarities there, how similar they are. If you look at the original Dark Wolf, the DF50 from Surinaya. If you watch these brake shoes, hopefully this is going to... You can see how they're moving. They're clearly moving. Now, um... This here has now become a static array. If you look at the uh, other reels, like the Genius, uh, Serena Joint Genius, they'll just have uh, magnets, about eight of them usually, on a, f a flat fixed array there. And um, they went to that because they realised they couldn't copy what Shimano had done. Obviously not cheaply enough. I dare say they will do at some point. But that's not to say this doesn't work. This works very effectively. Um, you see the little ceramic bearing I put in this. The bearings on this reel are fantastic. They cast really well, eat better than the ceramic bearings I put in the DF50. 12 pound braid on that, sounds like a lot for BFS, but uh, the weed and rack and everything else, I might get into problems with anything much less. I've got a 10 pound fluorocarbon letter on there. And to that I've added a MEPS Aglier number three spinner which i've chopped the hooks off and just added a little panel on a swivel there and a split ring uh, it's caught me a few fish this has and on there i've got uh berkeley goat sandworm extra large uh, impressed with the brownie so far the braking and everything on it fantastic it's beautifully smooth let's cast out there as well nice little channel here but it's still available to cast that way oh yeah got something Hopefully we've got a monet. Feels a reasonable size, looks like a little schoolie, I think. But we're in fairly quickly. I think it's a school bass. Oh, big one. But yeah, it's a little school bass. Nice to catch all the same. Reasonable size for a schoolie. There we go. Oh, BFS bass. <laughs> hey! Only a little one. Oh, we might encounter some of them. I don't mind catching bass that size on BFS gear. Let's let them go. It is the joy of BFS. It's just that fish fell <laughs> three times the size. We might get a few because there might be a school of them out there. And it's 
artificial bait. It's the gulp sand worm, as I've already said. Oh, I thought I saw a mullet flash behind it then. Let's try down that way. A oh, slightly larger bass to add to the ones I had yesterday. There's no reason why you couldn't catch a root. Oh, yeah, got someone else. Another schoolie. Let's keep it down. Yeah, he's smaller, this one. Well, uh, I'm catching a few fish and it's just thrilling on the uh, the balance gear I'm using. There we go. Oh, this BMC reel. This will be a sort of on the water review as well, do an unboxing, put some pictures in. It's beautiful to use, so smooth. So you've got four on one side and four on the other shoe. So you've got eight small bearings there. Let's relocate this. Right, so let's, let's put it down to zero. Look how smooth and how free that spins. Now, I've been fishing with it a couple of times now, and all I've done is just didn't touch the bearings at all. First couple of, oop, couple of trips, and all I've done is had one tiny drop of, uh, I think it's 10 ISO, they call it. Um, the very lightest uh, oil you can get um, to the bearings since I've been fishing. But that's beautifully smooth and for a reel at this price, I mean, 25 pounds, I mean, why would you not buy one? Um, you know, if you're gonna be throwing routinely under three grams, then at a push with light lines, it will do something. But you see, look, I've gone up to nearly three on the brakes there now, and look at the difference it's made. It's got good brakes on it. It can handle heavier lures. All right, so we're going to push the limits of the tetto on there and try for a larger bass. I'll show you. I'm not sure what the lure's called. I bought it years ago. Yozuru. Stick bait. Wind's really picked out. What are we getting that lure out there? I'm just going to twitch it. If there's any reasonable sized bass. Might turn into a bass video, not a mullet video. Ooh, that water's quite cool. Nice on a really hot day, but it's not. Ah, uh, reel's coping with that, lovely. Oh, and I've had a bump there. It, uh, it can easily do three grams, I've found. So I'm, I'm very pleased with it like that. Uh, eight pound braid, with a five pound fluorocarbon leather, little clip, and a lure about three and a half grams. So we're pushing it now with this one. I've got the wind behind me. It's the only place I can find the wind, wind behind me. I'm just going to do some light cats with a set of a, over four to start off with and little or no side to side play. And uh, just going to fling it out there and it's pulling to the left so we're over breaking. So let's drop it. We're all winding in. We might pick up a little bass or something. Well, let's just see if we can get it down a bit lower. We'll throw some like five grams and three grams with it. That's better. It's going out a reasonable distance. I've got 50 meters of braid on here. Uh, measured it out. It's very fine braid though. It's uh, by Kingdom. And um, it says it's nine pounds, but uh, I will put the diameter of it up for you. Uh, we'll do a few nice gentle casts to start off with. I'm not going to welly it. But as you can see, the, uh, it's casting it quite easily, this. If you were in a stream, mountain stream, or <laughs> even a stream in the UK, there are some mountains, it would do this quite easily. It would take the brakes down a little bit more. But I'm, I'm not in, interested in birds nesting it up there. I mean, it's on this uh, Mavalos plume rod. It's doing that beautifully. So now, same setup, but we're going to try a little... Um, I cannot remember for the life of me what this, this lure is, but it's it's less than three grams. I'm going to put the brakes up a little again. I mean, they were down at three and a half to do that, which is, is a good sign. Sign of a good, decent reel. The braking's decent on it, so hopefully we don't bird's nest after I've said that now. A little light. Yeah, it's gone out there, look. We're doing sub three gram now. We've got the clip, so it's probably around three gram. I wouldn't be expecting a reel of this size to do more than that, though, to be honest. Lovely lure this. Let's try again. Look at that, accurate, it's going where I want. It's going as far as I want as well. 
So I'm very impressed with this BMC. I have uh, already uh, shot some film with um, larger lures. We'll do another one. We'll go down a little bit lower, but I don't want to go any further than that. There we go. You know, it's not going to go as far as your high ebos or your outer bearings and that. But that's free, free and controlled. When you get down to the lighter one, sometimes it hangs in the air a little bit. So you'd have to give it a bit more force than say um, you would allow the bear and not the arrive. That's better. Freed it up a bit. It's very, very smooth compared to the original DF50 and it feels even smoother in use when you've got a bit of pressure on it from your lure and that. Um, the high Ebo there, you know, that, that really is somewhere between, uh, it's around about a hundred pounds now, plus delivery to the UK. It's a great reel, I love fishing with it, but it isn't as smooth as this $25 reel. It really, anybody who already owns the Acura, the 50 size, a you know, smaller size reel, will know how smooth these reels from Solar King are. I don't know how they do it, but they are, they are fantastically smooth compared to a lot of reels. Uh, I'd say they're the smoothest of the budget reels. It's got an aluminium drive gear. Um, as I showed you already, it's got an excellent rotation of the spool. You know, it, it is smooth, it is buttery smooth and spins beautifully. Um, <clears throat> and you can actually, you know, when you spin it, you can feel the force of the brakes. You can feel what they're doing, which is which is another good sign. I, I find that with the outer bearings very, very much the same. Um, your winding speed, I think, was 76 centimetres per turn of the handle. I think they claim... Ooh, let's have a look. Where was it? They claim 88 centimetres. I didn't find in use it was quite so high as that, but there you go. Uh, they're probably measuring it more accurately than I do. Um, it's great for long distance casting. Uh, you can add more line if required. I've been using it with 60 metres of line rather than the traditional 40 or 50 metres that we use on um, our 50 size spools, our smaller spools. I think you could go higher than that. It depends really what size lures you're using. If you're using sort of five gram and up, you can put a bit more on. When you start getting down to the, to the limits of it, that extra line will give you more chances of a bird's nest. Um, It's accurate when you cast. It's easily adjustable for different lures. It's very free running in the cast. Um, so you get a nice flat cast. You don't always get all these high casts. Well, at least if you're you're having a good day casting. <laughs> um, and you don't feel like the spool's being held back. Um, like you can on some reels, to be honest. Uh, just checking my notes here. Yeah, as I said, it, it we will cast under three grams. I've not got it for the, you know, the four pound mono and that kind of thing. But you got to ask yourself, if, when you're fishing for trout, how often are you actually dropping below sort of two and a half grams, pushing down to two? It will do it if you've got lighter lines. It will go down to two, two and a half grams. Um, but it's not going to cast your trout magnets, things like that. So don't buy it for that. I have bought this reel for a lot of sort of fishing in estuaries for bass in the UK, uh, slow jigging with light sort of edging work light slow jigs spoons small soft plastics you know sort of three grams five grams seven grams that kind of thing uh jig heads with you know all that sort of size range so for me i have found this reel is an absolute joy to fish with and i just pinch myself every time i um i find out how much i pay for it 25 pounds even if it's 30 pounds what a reel I don't know how they do it, but it is fantastic. Um, gripes about the reel. Uh, well, if you get the lefty, it's sort of a mirror image of this, uh, of the name is all got where you got your fish and then, you know, I know it's called a brownie, but try reading that. I only know that because look, it says it's on the box. <laughs> so that's a gripe, but I mean, I could take that off if I want a bit of acetone or something, I, I dare say. I don't like the small dials. I wish that, you know, 
more BFS reels came with different dials to this. It's hard when your hands are cold. It, it's quite adjustable. It's got 30, 30 clicks on it. Um, the well, one thing I will say is though, with a lot of BFS reels, you end up you're between four and five all the time. So I've got down to three quite comfortably with various lures. So it's got a decent breaking range on it. Um, I have heard stories of the real foot being that bit larger and might not fish uh, fit some of the smaller sort of uh, trout rods and that we use, but I, I have some and it fits all of mine. So if I get the DF50, is it any different? No, if I put it around the same way, it's exactly the same, isn't it? You know, I think the handle might be a bit bigger on the Solar King, it definitely looks like it there. The handle is 95 millimeters. Um, so yeah, there you go, that, that, that's good, isn't it? You know, overall, brilliant reel, not gonna wobble on. I'll put some uh, in with this, there'll be some pictures of me fishing with it, but with various lures, catching some fish, hopefully a couple of small bass so far, but hopefully we'll, we'll catch something better with it. Cheers, as always, please like and subscribe, The Constant Angler. Um, I really appreciate it. And hit that notification bell if you're really that interested. <laughs> but I like your support anyway, even if you just watch a video. It's great for me. It gives me a buzz that people bother to watch. Cheers.